Welcome back. It's a competition that will have you dancing all night long. Here to tell us about the first annual Low Country Shag and competition, welcome Walter Borough Tourism's Gene Hedden and Mayor Bill Young. Thank you so much for joining us. And this is great because this is the first annual Shag competition and it's in Walter Borough. Tell us how this got together and what folks can expect if they come on out. Well, um, it's sponsored by the Low Country Sertoma Club in Walterboro and the City of Walterboro Enterprise Bank, Microtel Hotels, um, Gene Hedden. Um, who else, Gene? That's all. Is that all? Um, and we have a lot of great events in Walterboro with the Rice Festival and the Bicycle That's Criterium. Right. That we, you know, that we had 180 participants in that. The, the Arts, Antiques, and History Festival that we have in the spring. And, and we're looking to add, you know, one more great festival um, to, to Walterboro. We enjoy having guests. It's in our nature to, to, um, to entertain guests, and we're just looking forward to having a large time, as Pat Patterson would say, with the Shag Festival. Yeah, you know, and we were just talking during the commercial break. I had no idea there's so much shag going on here in the low country there's there's clubs all around and, and there's actually a discount for this if you are a shagger and you're in a club um, you get a discount to go to this and tell me how shag competitions are judged because I've never been to a shag competition of course I've seen people shag and I love watching the dance and you know, I try myself but how do you judge a competition um, well uh, competitions are judged on your um, your ability to shag your uh, familiarness with the shag um, your step how you how you execute your dance steps um, your familiarity with um, um, the music and um, and just how well you do it just right how yeah, well you do it uh, flow. On, yeah, yeah like any other dance your together I guess. the togetherness of the step your smoothness of the step you, the crowd appeal how well you please the crowd and it's such a big mm -hmm. thing down here especially the beach community anywhere you know close to mm -hmm. water it's people a state love, dance. yeah love to do shag it's a state dance mm -hmm. and so let's talk about the specifics because this is coming up in two weekends of course um, and then there is a fee to, to get registered and how do folks go you know about doing that well they, they um, they can get information at www.walterboroughsc.org or they can call um, 843-538-4353. That's the Walker, Walterboro Welcome Center number. And um, are there applications online, Gene? There are applications online. Mm -hmm. Now, it says downtown Walterboro. For folks that are familiar with Walterboro, where in downtown should they go? Where should they park uh, to get to this um, event? Well, when they... Um, if you come into to Walterboro from Charleston on the Savannah Highway and you come s straight into Walterboro and when you pass Bethel Methodist Church mm -hmm. um, on your right, the, the city parking lot is just past that and it's, uh, I think it's 300 Washington Street um, is the address of it, but you would ride right by it. And there's parking at the Baptist Church and the, the Baptist parking lot, which is across the street from the Methodist Church there on uh, Memorial Street. Okay. And parking downtown and there's plenty of parking. And there's a problem. shuttle as well, right? From uh, from the hotels, you can park and there'll be shuttles taking you to the um, shag competition, correct? Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then, you know, even when you're there, for somebody who hasn't ch uh, been to Walterboro, um, there's a lot of other things they can check out too while they're in town, right? Maybe make a weekend of it. Yeah, we, we have a lot to offer. Our downtown area has uh, a lot of great shops and antique stores. Uh, we have one of the largest city parks in the country That's in right. the Great Swamp Sanctuary, about 800 acre um, park. Um, of course we have um, the, the other festivals that I told you about. Um, coming up in October, on October the 2nd, we're going to be uh, celebrating 140 years of fire service. Our fire department will be oh, 140 nice. years okay. old. And then the Salkahatchee Stew is coming up October 22nd, 23rd, which is a storytelling event. Um, with people from around the low country come in and, and tell stories. It's become a pretty popular event there in Walter. Now, Gene, for folks that maybe um, aren't going to shag or maybe, I don't know, don't know how to shag that well, what else is going to be available out there so everybody can have fun? Because this is fun for the entire family, correct? That's correct. Um, it, there will be a shag contest on Friday evening for the adults. Um, okay. There we have some Hall of Fame shaggers that are going to perform for us just to show us just how well you can progress with the shag rather than just being an amateur. Uh, we have um, a group of, uh, shag, a shag team group, uh, a group of eight couples that will be performing at one time for us, just for entertainment. Um, and then we will have lots of open dance evening. Um, on Saturday, we're having um, junior shag competitions, uh, levels one, two, and three in the junior competition, just kids of all ages up to age 
20. Wow, we'll so all the shagging you could probably hang, mm -hmm. handle in one weekend. Mm -hmm. Guys, this sounds like a great event, and definitely check that out. Um, again, you can go online to check that out, and it is um, not this weekend, but it's August 6th and 7th down in historic um, Walterboro. There it is right there. Go online. You can check out all that and learn more about Walterboro. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank, Thank you for having us. All right, no problem. Well, if you're searching for a job but coming up short, we've got a nonprofit group that could help you come out on top. When we return, we sit down with Back on Track. Stay with us.